Okay, on to John's workshop today. We're going to wax and sharpen each one of these downhill skis and get them in top performance. So this is what we use to sharpen it. This is a downhill ski sharpener. It comes with a sharpener. It's just a metal file. And so it's got this rougher side and then the smoother side. So we start with the rougher side to get most of it off and then we'll finish it off with the, the smoother side. Just sharpen it really tight. So it fits in like this. And then we'll take the ski, we'll start on this side, run it along the edge. Finish it off. You want to continually go down with it. When you're always working on skis, you start from tip to tail. And that will keep it fast. Make sure that nothing, all the fibers are moving in one direction so it moves very fast. So once you get that, you'll see that it's really sharp. I even cut myself last night pretty deep uh, with this, with that. And then we'll wax this. And what I have here is a 20 to 30 degree wax. Usually we ski when it's between 20 and 30 degrees. We'll put that on. So paste wax, so you don't need an iron. Just makes it easier. Want to make sure that it's room temperature. And then once it's set in, Leave that for a few minutes. And we'll take one of these skis that have already had the wax put in them. And then the wax, after it's set in for a few minutes, will become dry and ready to be wiped down. But this one actually is still a little bit wet. We'll grab one of those skis over there that we did a while ago. And the wax that I like to, like to use is called a fast wax. I believe it's developed in Minnesota. Um, so it's a, a ski wax and they make different kinds. So this one is between 12 degrees and 28 degrees. It's called the 20 and that's usually the temperature that we ski in. They've got like a bunch of different temperature waxes. We'll start with this one over here. This is on the ski. So this had the wax put in, fully sharpened it. You can see this, the edges are super sharp on this one. I don't know if you want to see, but very sharp edges. And I couldn't get to this spot very well. So you can see what it started out as, which isn't sharp. This is just a bunch of um, rust and corrosion. So that's what it looked like before. And then you can see down here what we did get to put a good edge on it. So then what we'll do is we'll cork it and we'll also brush all the old wax off. So we'll start with uh, brushing this wax off now. We 
want to get the extra wax off. And then the cork is kind of like our iron. It'll heat it up and drive all the little pieces of wax into the ski. This will really make it fast. What this will also do is protect the metal edges from corrosion because we've got a fine layer of wax on top of them so it won't rust. Glide wax just to make it go a little bit faster. So, this is our glide wax. It's a uh, Swix branded North Forge by Swix. It looks like that. And when this is depressed, it lets, lets the uh, guide wa glide wax out. So, you can push it in. There it comes out. And this is a chloral floral carbon, so which repels water, meaning that when, um, when the snow turns to water up here, as you're going down the slopes, it'll turn, it'll melt the ice up here, turn it to water, and as it turns to water, this will push it on top, kind of like your water skiing. So it's a water repellent, and once the water comes down here, you're just basically gliding on nothing, which makes it go very fast. And once that's on, just got a little uh, felt tipped thing. I'm going to push all of this down and any little hairs that are on here will be stroked down in one direction so that it makes it go very fast. There's, nothing is holding it back. just glides and if you notice in here there are these little ridges this is what's called stone ground I don't know if you can see that but it means it's not perfectly flat there are little ridges in here and they're all forced in one direction but what that does is it removes any kind of suction that would happen because you're going on top of the ice and right here is where it turns the ice into water because of this friction and then you're riding along that water and ice um, which gives it very little friction and and then you don't want it to suction to it 
you want it to lift off and give little ridges. So all along here, these little ridges that are cut into the ski, and that is what makes it go really fast. So you've got the sharp edges where you can use it to cut and turn, and then the freshly waxed ski, which makes it go fast.